Hello, Mario. In this video, worksheet 004, we're going to take a look at the perimeter and area of a triangle. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, first up, this is the whole worksheet here, so there's some known examples. I'm going to do a couple of examples with you, and then the rest of it's up to you. So let's uh, have a go at example one. So here it is, question one or example one. And I've got it over here. You can see that I've got the answers in there already. But uh, I'll go through and show you how we can go about them. So, you know, let's make it easy. Let's start with the easiest one first. The easiest bit to do, type of the triangle. Now, there are a few different types of triangles, but... You know, essentially a, si a triangle has three sides and three angles. So not a lot of variation there as to uh, what, what you can and can't do. Um, there. Now in this particular triangle, if we just look very carefully, we can see that we've got two sides the same length. Uh, they're both labelled B in this case. And we've got, actually got two angles the same. That They must be the same if the sides are the same and they're the angles at A and B. So A, capital A, capital B, and C denote the angles, and sides, um, they are denoted by the lowercase let letters. And in this case, this triangle has not um, been labelled according to the, uh, the correct convention, which I'll show you in the next example, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to see why that is. So... That uh, triangle there, two sides the same, two angles the same, that is called an isosceles triangle, an isosceles triangle. So I've filled that in there in red as the answer on the worksheet. Okay, now, next easiest thing to do is the perimeter of the triangle. The perimeter of anything is the distance around the outside of it, of the object. That, that's the perimeter. In some cases, uh, perimeter has special names, like in the case of a circle, the distance around the outside of the circle, it's also the, it's the perimeter, but sometimes or also known as the circumference. So, perimeter of a triangle, um, the sum of the lengths of the sides, essentially. You know, if imagine yourself as a small animal or insect or something, and if you walked from A to B to C and back to A, how far would you walk? some of the lengths of the sides. Now in this case here, the perimeter of triangle ABC, remembering that we've got two sides, both the same length, B, um, we can see here that the perimeter of the triangle will be uh, 4.8, which is A, plus B, 6.9, plus B again, 6.9. Our units are millimetres, so um, we'll stick with the millimetres, add that all together, and we get 18.6 millimetres. Distance around the outside of the triangle ABC, also known as the perimeter. Write that in, lock it in. Let's get on to the the next uh, hardest bit, which is the area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is equal to half times the base times the height. Now, any one of the sides can be the base, but the height and every side has a, in fact, has a height, but the height is the perpendicular distance from the uh, from one side to the to the top of the triangle opposite. So in this case here, if we take side um, AB and we draw a a line perpendicular to that through C, that is the the height. And in this case here, the height of the triangle is six point four seven. Now. Just note it's the height that's in the formula. Not So you've got B there, but that isn't needed for the area of the triangle. We just need the base and the height. So half times the base times the height. So just be a bit careful about this. Make sure you choose the height correctly. So that's a half times uh, 4.8 millimetres A times 6.47 millimetres the height. And we multiply that out. A half times 4.8 times 6.47 millimetres. Um, just remember on the calculator, you could do that as a 0 0.5 times 4.8 uh, 
times 6.47, 0 0.5 being a half. And we multiply that out and we get 15.528 millimetres squared. You can see just down in here, you've got millimetres times millimetres. So that's going to give you millimetres squared. That's an area. That's what you'd expect. Okay, so that's uh, question one done. Let's uh, just have a look now at question uh, five there and uh, see how see how that's uh, going. Uh, just getting a few little bits and pieces sorted here. I don't know why it's got that lovely blue line around it, but I'm just going to work with that anyway. Um, so perhaps I can just do it like that. There you go. That's a bit better. Okay. So this triangle, looking at it, we've got three sides with different lengths. A, B, and C are all different lengths. And we've got three angles of a different, uh, of, of different size here, uh, A and B. And I've just omitted to put that in there, so I'll just fix that uh, now as we're going along. A, B, and, um, and C. Okay, the three sides there. So let's uh, let's got that sorted. Now, just a little bit of a convention about how we label triangles. Obviously, the angles are capital A, A, B, and C. And typically, when we're labeling a triangle, the side opposite angle A is called little a. That's side A. The side opposite angle B is called little b. In that little lowercase b and the angle or the side opposite angle c is called c okay so that's a little bit of a convention that we use wherever we can to label a triangle okay a b and c so um, this particular one has three angles the angles will be different sizes um, very interestingly with a triangle the biggest angle will be opposite the longest side. So if we look here and we can see B, um, actually C, angle C, so this might not, this triangle might not be drawn absolutely correctly, but anyway, we'll see here, and we'll see that angle C would be the biggest angle because it's opposite the biggest side. Next biggest would be B, because opposite B, and A, opposite the smallest side would be the smallest angle. Um, of course, we'll learn later on that the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Now, a triangle that has three sides of different lengths and three angles of different size is called a scalene triangle. Scalene triangle. And um, we've locked that in and locked and loaded it in, so... Whoa. Let's go on, move on to perimeter. Distance around the outside of an object, still the same as the previous one. Uh, some of the lengths of the sides. In this case, each of the sides is a different length, so we can put them into the equation. A plus B plus C, 6.15 metres. Note, different units, so yeah, make sure you get your units right. 7.74 metres and 8.20 metres. Put that in, bang that into your calculator, boom, 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 boom. 22.09 metres. That's the distance around that triangle. So obviously, um, you know, for an insect, that would be quite a long time going 22.09, but for a human, um, you know, just a couple of seconds. Or Usain Bolt might be able to do it in under one second. Okay, so moving on now to the, the hardest bit the hardest, easiest bit. The area of the triangle, half times the base times the height. The base in this case here is AB, um, length C or side C. You can see there the height perpendicular through it and through the, um, through the point C there. Um, so that's definitely the thing. So make sure you identify the height correctly, 5.5. So we've got a half times C, which is the base, 8.20 times 5.5, put that into the calculator, boom, 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 22.55 metres squared. Note it's metres squared because you've got metres times metres, metres squared. And there you are, that's how you'll have it. Um, obviously, uh, you can write your answers in um, to your 
worksheet as you go through and you'll go through the various other ones and get them all done. Um, and yeah, once you've, once you've got them all done, always pays to check your answers uh, with, your, with your tutor or someone that has the answers or you could uh, you know, scan and email your completed worksheet uh, to your tutor so that they can check it and get back to you with some good feedback about how you're doing and how things are going for you. So, cheers!